I know there's a lot of confusion about should you get your mammogram or shouldn't you and what age should you start. One of the things to remember is that every single well done study that has looked at getting mammograms or not getting them has shown women live longer if they get mammograms. So mammograms save lives. There is no controversy about that. One of the questions that I always get is, well, don't mammograms miss some breast cancers? And the answer to that is yes. There is no imaging test, no radiologic study that is perfect. They are more likely to miss in young women and in women with what we call dense breast tissue. Dense breast tissue is normal active breast tissue. The problem is that normal active breast tissue will look white on a mammogram. So if you're trying to pick up a cancer, which will also show up as white on a mammogram, it's really hard to see. It's trying to look for a polar bear in a snowstorm. As women age, what happens is that dense breast tissue, that normal active white tissue, becomes replaced by fat. And fat on a mammogram actually looks black. And so it's easier for us to be able to pick up a white tumor against a black background. That's one of the reasons that we don't recommend starting mammograms until the age of 40. Because if you get a mammogram in someone who's 25, you're not gonna be able to see a whole lot because you're looking at white tissue against white tissue. So what do you do about dense breast tissue? You don't necessarily have to do anything except be aware of whether you have it or not. Once you know that, then the question is not to be alarmed or to be concerned, but just to be aware of that. So if you do feel something, don't take a bit of false reassurance that, well, I just had a mammogram six months ago. If you feel something, come in and get it checked out. And you're always better off doing that than ignoring something that you shouldn't have.